I think steroids are as American as apple pie. Dang it! You're watching Muscle Sport Magazine. Alright, check it out, right? I figured, okay, my last video I talked about the 70s, and, uh, you know, about bodybuilding in the 70s, and I was around when Schwarzenegger competed, and we, I actually started competing at the same time. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and how I got started in the 70s, and, you know, a little bit more about me bodybuilding in the 70s. I think you'll find a lot of this interesting. First of all, I got started, I was naturally built. When I was in sixth grade, now you can talk to people who went to high school with me. Um, when I was in sixth grade, I was actually already kind of built. All right, I used to do push ups, sit ups. I was a great athlete. I won the President's All American uh, Award two years in a row from President Nixon for being an athletic kid. A lot of you guys have that at school. But anyway, so. I won, you know, I was a really good athlete. I was always a very good baseball player, very good football player, very good at whatever sport I chose, I was always good at. And I was, I was naturally built. So, that was the sixth grade. And one time, you know, kids used to always talk about my build. And I actually used to be self-conscious in sixth grade because I remember taking off my shirt in gym class. And kids were like, oh, man, you got like all apples all over you. And they meant muscles. And they used to call me vessels because they meant like... They actually meant veins, but, you know, back then, blood vessels, because I was very veiny, you know. Anyway, so I actually had a little bit of a complex about that. But at the same time, I was starting to realize, yeah, that's pretty cool. They're talking about me being built. And then one day, I saw in a box a maypole. They, had this, they used to have this kid that would have, like, he was flexing. He was doing his double, bi you know, doing a single bicep. And he was saying, I want my maypole. And I remember he was about my age. He was about a 13-year-old kid. And I was thinking... Shit, man, I'm more built than that kid, you know. He's on a box of cereal. Look where I am, you know. I don't know. I just, it, 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 but anyway, so a, an older kid in high school, uh, who was a year, year older than me, uh, noticed I was built. And he invited me to his house to work out with him. And he's actually one of the guys who actually taught me how to work out. And if you people that I went to school with know, it was Kevin Cowell, Casey. Anyway, so uh, he taught me how to work out. I remember seeing the back of his arms, they were really, you know, he had big triceps, they were curved like this, you know. And I remember saying to him, you know, he, he, you know, how come your back of your arms curve? You know, I thought that was only for the front of your arms. He goes to me, that's a tricep, man. You got big ones. I couldn't, you know, I never knew. Like, I was, like, naive. And he's the one who got me started. I remember that stupid gym, you know how you always look at a gym coach and you think a gym coach knows, like, what he's talking about? Well, I had a gym coach tell me, Valentino, you got these big biceps. You need to develop the back of your arms, your triceps. So instead of doing front curls all the time, you need to do reverse curls. What a fucking idiot, right? Reverse curls. But I actually believed it. You know, because he was a gym teacher. I didn't know. Anyway. So if you watch the ESPN special about me, E60, my sister goes on there, and she and my and my childhood friend Mike Janusa, and uh, you know my sister says, "Hey man, when my when my when my brother was young, you know, even as a kid, my parents used to have to find a gym for him to train at, you know, because he, we'd be on the beach down in the Jersey Shore, and my brother would be out in the gym working out, you know, and so and it was true. I always had to work out. I used to work out in a hotel room, whatever was push ups, sit ups. I'd bring you know springs with me to bull, you know, a bull worker. I used to do all that shit. Sometimes I'd bring little dumbbells, I'd sneak them in my suitcase, my mother would freak out, but I'd be doing curls, you know, side laterals and stuff, you know, all the time. I was obsessed, you know, with working out. This is when I was young. I was like 13 years old. And, you know, by the time I was 14, I was already really built. And I used to put pictures of bodybuilders on the wall, you know, in my house, in my room. You know, I had pictures of Schwarzenegger, Ferrigno, who, by the way, is a fucking asshole. Uh, Ferrigno, Colombo, who, by the way, is an asshole. Um, and I had all those guys all over my wall. And, you know, a lot of bodybuilders. My wall was covered with bodybuilders. And I remember my father used to say, I don't understand. What's wrong with you? Are, are you are you gay? What's wrong with you? Because most boys have pictures of girls in bikinis. 
on their wall. My son's got pictures of oiled up muscle men in their underwear. He meant posing trunks. He didn't know. He used to tell me, what, what, what is this shit? You know, what, who, look at this guy. And I'd say, that's Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dad. He's Mr. Olympia. And, that, you know, and that's Lou Ferrigno. My father would be, well, that Ferrigno guy, he looks good. You know, he's Italian. He, you know, anybody's Italian in New York. You know, we're from New York, Italian. Anyway. But, uh, you know, my father, you know, he'd be like that Swackhammer guy. That, that, that Arnold Swackhammer. What, what, what's, his, uh, what's his deal? You know, and uh, what are they, you know, they're in their underwear, you know, so my parents didn't, you know, my father didn't get it. My mother, she got it a lot more, but anyway, you know, uh, so they used to bitch about me like that. Uh, you know, my mother would bitch because she'd buy a dozen eggs and I would eat the whole fucking thing and she'd be like, where's the eggs? I just bought the eggs. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> wow, you know, you know, and she'd be like, you ate the goddamn eggs? I just bought the eggs. You know, um, so, and my sister used to bitch because my mother would go out and buy me like, you know, like a whole pound of roast beef and I used to eat the pound. I think I told you in the other, in the other video I talked about how I would sit around and I would eat a whole pound of roast beef and drink milk because, you know, you know, that was a poor, you know, it wasn't a poor man's protein, but, you know, protein powder, you couldn't really get it, you know. There was a health food store where I got it, you know, I used to, uh, the Hoffman's was the very first one, that in Rio H. Blair. Um, was the very first proteins I ever took, but it was very hard to get it. It wasn't around. You're talking about like 1973, you know, 74, 75. It was a long time ago. You know, I remember I used to wait, you know, every like Wednesday to get the, you know, muscle magazines. I'd have to wait at Rexall, the only place around where I lived, you know, that got it. So, anyway, I would go to school. And I used to draw like little muscle men and shit all the time on a desk, you know, biceps, triceps. I, you know, because my father's an artist and my mother was an artist. You know, about what they did for a living, not just like a hobby. But you know, that's how you know, you know, my father made a living, and he was a very famous artist. But anyway, so you know, I have a little bit of artistic ability. So anyway, I used to draw like muscles and shit on a desk. You know, the teachers would freak out. I have to wash the desk. But what I used to do all the time, and the guys who went to school with me, you know, could tell you, I used to go there, first of all, I used to pose in the lunchroom. I would go in, like, at my lunch hour, which for me, I never went to class, so every day, every hour was my lunch hour. I'd sneak into the gym, and, you know, they only had a universal, and I'd go in here, and I'd do dips, and I'd be doing a whole stack. I was, like, in ninth grade, I used to do the stack. That was, like, the big thing. Yo, Valentino could bench the stack, you know? It was only like 250, 275, but I, you know, I, well, you know, I was, it was, I was young, you know. But anyway, I benched the stack. I'd go in there. I, I, you know, I was deadlifted. It had a big bar. It was bent. It wasn't an Olympic bar. It was, a, you know, standard bar. It was bent. Again, you're talking like 75, you know, you know, shit like that. I go in there. I, you know, deadlifted and everything. People were freaking out. I throw it over my head. Do you know presses with it? And then I get out. You know, it's during my lunch hour. Then I go out. And I'd jump up on the tables in the lunchroom. The kids would roar and cheer me on. I'd be stepping on kids' sandwiches, kicking their milks and shit. Not purposely, but, but I was nuts. You know, I'd get up there and I'd be hitting muscle, you know, hitting poses and, you know, and doing all kinds of crazy shit like that. So, you know, I was known for that. So if you talk to anybody, I, I went to high school, they could tell you crazy stories about me ripping off my clothes in basketball games, running on the court. Ah, you know, most muscles. I was wacky. The other thing I used to do between classes... I used to go, ask the teacher, can I go to the bathroom? I would go in the bathroom and do dips between the sinks. I'd do pull-ups on the stall. Uh, I used to do push-ups. I know I touched a dirty bathroom floor, but I didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I was that obsessed with bodybuilding. And this is the 70s. I was out of high school in the 70s. I was done with high school in the 70s. But this was the 70s. And... You know, that's what I did. I, I, I was, you know, I, it, bodybuilding for me was, was, and when I said it was pure back then, and I, in the other video I said it was, we, we did it for the love of the game. It's not that guy today, but everybody wants to be jacked. You understand? Everybody wants to be jacked. Nobody wants to earn their muscle by training for years naturally like I did. 23 years natural. 23 years natural, no drugs. Okay? But we did it for the love, meaning that, we loved to train. It was a pure thing. You know what I mean? We trained, you know, we, we, we were more innocent. These guys, they were with the selfies. I want to look good for the club, you know, for the girls. I didn't do it for girls, bro. I didn't give a shit if girls thought it was fucking gross. I didn't care. I did it for me. I loved it. 
you know, and I excelled at sports. I was always good at sports. That didn't matter. I mean, I had a father, you know, my father to this day, the guy's 87 years old, and he's a sick fuck with football. You know, I was a great football player, but I played with hatred. I hate to, you know, I'm not a big, I don't like football. Baseball's my sport, hockey, Rangers, you know, Yankees, you know, Giants football, but, you know, and Jets both. But what I'm saying is, you know, growing up in New York, but I don't, I don't really follow football, you know, only unless, you know, one of my teams makes the, you know, playoffs, like the Jets or the Giants. Giants mostly, you know. But um, because of my father. My father forced football. I mean, shoved it up my ass, you know what I mean? I, I was a great football player, and, uh, you know, it, because I had no choice. You know, most kids, when they get home from school, their father says, yo, did you do your homework? My father would say, did you go to football practice? But anyway, you know... I didn't care though. I spent my time in the gym. I would work out before f practice, after practice. I was obsessed with bodybuilding. You know what I mean? I used to, you know, it, it, you know, it wasn't like today where you have an internet where you can go online and Google, like, you know, to get answers. You know what I mean? I used to have to travel 25 miles away just to go to the gym at first. I used to go to the White Plains YMCA, which is in a suburb right of, you know, Manhattan, or it's right in the Bronx, you know. And, and, and I used to have to go to White Plains YMCA, man, and I used to go down there, and there were big guys down there, you know, and there some big fucks. And, um, you know, I was a kid, but I made sure I got down there. It didn't matter how I got. I hitchhiked. We used to hitchhike. 70s was a big thing, like hitchhiking and stuff. But, you know, I used to hitchhike just to 25 miles just to work out. You know what I mean? That's dedication. But it was for the love of the... These guys don't love bodybuilding. They don't love training. They just want to be jacked. They just want to be jacked. They don't give a fuck. I love to train. I used to go in my room at night then, and I'd start working out in my room. I might to do sit-ups and shit, but I, I would be doing dumbbells. My mother would be like, yo, you got school the next day. What are you doing? You know what I mean? This is when I was young, because when I was older, it was, you know, when I was 18, I was, you know, finishing up high school. You know, I, was, I took a stripper to my senior prom. I went to, uh, you know, I used to bounce. Uh, I was a doorman at a nightclub, a stripper, strip club. And I brought one of them strippers to my senior prom. Bro, I was, believe me, I was a legend in high school. But anyway, you know, when I was real young, I used to work out in my room. I was in middle school when I started, you know. My mother would be like, I hear that noise. What do you do? It's like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning. I'd have to sit there on a the bed, and I'd have, to, I'd have to do it. And that, was, that actually helped me because I'd have to do it real strict, you know. And slow, and I'd have to put it down on a bed so she wouldn't hear it crash on the floor. You know what I mean? But that's what I used to have to do. You know what I mean? I used to eat a lot of meat. You know, I would go out and go buy cold cuts, pounds, you know, of, of mostly, mostly roast beef, you know. And, and I would eat eggs. I would eat, you know, back then it was meat, eggs, and water. You know what I mean? You know, we didn't think about carbs. I didn't even fucking care about carbs. I didn't know anything about carbs. I ate a lot of cheese, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of the pros were eating cottage cheese. I, you know, I, I would, you know, I would eat regular cheese. I didn't know. I wasn't around no pro bodybuilders, you know. I only knew, you know, what other guys in the gym who were built. It was very close-knit, man. It wasn't a lot of people, you know. Um, uh, I used to eat a lot of cheese. I used to, get, like I said, I used to drink a gallon of milk, you know. Uh, I would take the protein shake, you know. I was nuts. I used to drink a protein shake with my dinner. Well, my fucking dinner, I'd be sitting there, I'd be eating steak and shit and having a protein shake. I didn't know. But you know what? I grew. I grew. You ever see pictures of me as a teenager? Nobody could beat me, bro. No, I'm not trying to be cocky. But, I, you know, I could hang. You know? I could hang. And uh, even as a natural bodybuilder later on in my early, early, early 20s, 21, 22, 23, dude, nobody beat me. I could, if I could, guys on drugs, I was built from, from head to toe. You know, I'd be doing no weight squats in my room. I used to do, I used to go in, you know, I'm telling the same thing. I'd leave, I'd, excuse me, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? I'd go in the bathroom, I'd be in there squatting and shit, you know. Kids come in, kids come in the stall, like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, I may be like, shh, God, I gotta do another set before I get back in the class. I'd be doing bench, you know, dips, not bench dips. But, I, you know, I would dip on, uh, you know, your hands, you know, like this behind you. And I would dip with my feet out in front of me. And I would dip down and do that shit on a sink and shit. So my triceps would blow. I was nuts. That's what it was like. Because in the 70s, you didn't have, you could, you either have to go to a gym. Finally, a Nautilus gym opened up in my town. And I, I trained at the Nautilus gym from like when I was like 16 on. You know what I mean? And they got more equipment. But at first, you could only do Nautilus. They only had Nautilus equipment. You know, and I used to do more than one set. And the fucking guy used to freak out that own the place at first. Dude, you're only supposed to do one set. And I'd be like, you know, 
I'm not doing that Arthur Jones shit, bro. You know, I would go to failure, but you know, then I just keep going because I couldn't get enough of weightlifting. If it was up to me, I'd, li I'd lift weights from the morning to night. Just stop to eat. You know what I mean? Get the bucket, bro. I'll shit and piss in a bucket. It didn't matter. Even when I was sick, I trained. You know? Because that's the love of training. I don't think these guys love to train. Yeah, they love to be in a gym with the music pumping and shit, you know, in front of the mirrors with their fucking selfies and shit. I didn't give a fuck, dude. I didn't care about that, you know? Anyway, it was Greg Valentino from Muscle Sport Mag. It's been the 70s. It was a great time. You know, the 80s came and everything else. It was just, it was great, man. You know, I had a pro tan. I, there was no pro tan, bro. I used to have to, I used to, have to use QT. QT tan. I put on like 10 layers of that shit. Pose under a light. <laughs> no, fucking just house music. I don't mean house music as clubhouse, man. I mean, you know, they just play, da -da -da, you know, like some freaking like classical shit. And you get out there, hit your mandatories, you come back out later on. And it was awesome, you know what I mean? It was a great time. 70s was a great time, you know? Arnold was God to us guys, you know, when you get a magazine. You know, I go down to Ferrigno Fitness and stuff down there in Brooklyn. You know, see Matt Ferrigno, the father, Lou's father. I know Andy Ferrigno. I forgot the cousin. It was a cousin who used to be there. You know what I mean? It was a great time, man. It was a great time. Anyway, this is just a little flavor of what I used to do. I'm going to go right now and do some push-ups, I think. Because I still train like a madman. Anyway, Greg Valentino, MuscleSportMag.com.